Alright guys, welcome to your ninth Qt tutorial and now that we understand how to set up a very basic Qt program and we kind of know about all the basic uh, widgets and signals and slots, I think it's time to kind of step away from the basic examples and learn how to create a useful GUI application using Qt. So what I'm going to be doing in these next couple tutorials, it's probably going to be like five tutorials, is I'm going to set up a full program, something that you might actually use, which is a text it's basically going to be like you're going to be able to insert a couple paragraphs of text and you're going to be able to find like a certain word so if there is a biography of myself in the new boston you might type in find bucky and it's going to find all the word bucky in there again it's not an application that you're going to you know have fun for with days and days of fun but uh... you know it helps us demonstrate the basic ideas of how to set up a full useful gui application so pretty cool let's go ahead i'll shut up now I'll get started. So we'll create a new project and we'll create a widget project just like before. Cute GUI application. Nothing here that's new. Choose this and I'm just gonna name it find crap because that's basically what the application is. We're gonna type in a word, aka crap, and it's gonna find it in the bigger body of text. So hit next. What target? Just the desktop will be fine for this demonstration. Next. Now the first thing I want to do is change the base class from main window to Q widget and also the class name to find crap so if you notice whenever you type the class name your header file source file in your form file which is basically your uh, interface file they all change automatically so just keep the defaults they're set up perfectly already as long as you change the class name so now go ahead and hit next and looks pretty good finish alright so we now have our project set up find crap looking pretty good and a lot of stuff is already built in here into the header file the uh, source files and also the uh, interface file so before we go ahead and hop into the coding let's go ahead and set up the interface the thing that the user is gonna see now the reason that I don't want to do this through code is because what I like to do is actually set it up through here and I'm gonna tell you guys about a couple shortcuts that are gonna save you guys a lot of time actually so the first thing that we need to do is we'll add a label so go ahead and grab label and drag it right here and well I'll add everything before I change any text but now what we need to do is we need to add a line edit now if you want to it might be a little easier just to go up at the top and start writing line edit so it pops up automatically or if you want to search through all the widgets that's fine too so go ahead and this is where we're going to be typing the word and whenever the user is ready to submit their entry they type through their word and they're ready to you know pretty much hit go they need a button so if we clear this out let me see if I can find it where or right here a push button go ahead and drag that so basically um we might as well change this text right now so the labels text will be search for something like this so they know that you know this is what the program does search for text let me line this up a little bit better search for okay now for the push button go ahead and double click this and hit go so basically the user is going to search for a certain word like tuna and whenever they hit go it's going to search through the text right here